More caves. As I know, we haven't had enough of those yet. Uh, I see the footprint thing here, so I'm gonna kill them all, make sure nothing appears. Got some money. Money is good. Unless I have too much of it. Then money is not good. But yeah, uh, like, in this whole forest area, there's just, like, a ton of pits that drop you into various parts of this cave. And the cave doesn't actually go anywhere. It just sort of stays around this place. There's a little bit of money in it. I'm guessing there's going to be some more here because I see the footprint again. Yep. But yeah, it doesn't really lead anywhere, but it it can be helpful to go through because it drops you off slightly closer to the town that you're trying to reach. At least that's what I've found. Okay, nothing here. And I now have enough money to buy the super missiles, which is what I was aiming for. So, I don't know if I want to go back to the city and get those now. or Because the sewer entrance near the city is where I want to go. I knew it was going to appear over there, damn it. Yeah, there's like a sewer entrance near the next town that I think leads to level 4. But since I'm not going to record level 4 yet, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to worry about that. I can just get back there off screen. I think I had to go through a whole little other quest, go through some sewers, hit a button somewhere in order to open it up anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to pretend to understand this forest because it's kind of confusing and maze-like. There's a lot of trees. These forests tend to have a lot of trees. There's that sewer which I can't reach from here, but don't really care. Up here, not gonna bother with that. There might be a heart piece or two that I can reach, but I just don't want to go up there. Anyway, here we have Lappin Town, with more Woodman or possibly Plantman background. I'm not sure which it is. I love that. It's a small shop, which fortunately sells some pretty good stuff. But then when you find out what it sells, it's actually, like, weird stuff. Yay, more money. And I've finally gotten over 300. It feels good to not have that stupid limitation anymore. Of course, I'll be cursing at the limitation of 500 before long. Empty house, I'm gonna raid, because there's probably something good. And there was. Well, whoever had that heart piece, don't have it anymore. I don't know what other people would need with those. Empty houses are not fun, but I like to sing along to this song really badly. First in history. Uh, oh, this is actually good back, in, in, back info. Thousands of years ago, this land was called Hyrule. Kakariko Village was the biggest town at the time. I don't want to go to the museum. I don't see what happened to Hyrule Castle. Eh, whatever. Maybe it was buried underground. Well, what are the chances of that? Okay, shop which has nothing. Yeah, they say that there's something wrong in Mega City Harbor, but that shop will be stocked after you beat level 4. So, it, I don't know, I guess it takes longer for the stuff to get delivered here. And, oh, I was expecting it to be locked. It's kind of hard to read that text. These big and ugly buildings, there's one big building, come on place has, like, five houses in it, aside from this apartment. You have, you have to give the people somewhere to live, come on. Random baby stroller again. Why is it locked? Wish I could blow it up. Be a 
like, how I want to do with that big ass bazooka on here. Oh god. It's a YouTube commenter. Run for the hills. Super nerd. Sure, I'm sure that's what they call you. Strongest area in history, technology, math. Okay. It might be interesting to read this stuff, but I don't want to spend money on it. Maybe I'll save and then check it out and then not save. Just so I can see what it is. I don't know. Don't really care. Ah, jeez, this thing keeps just going up and up. Okay. pretty clear that he just wanted to put something here and uh, I, I don't know I don't know where I was going with that yeah more cheese I don't know these apartments are rarely useful is there anything in this room Come on, everything's got to have something to steal and this is the exception to that Top floor, will there be anything good? Kind of. It wasn't entirely worthless, it was only mostly worthless. So let's get out of here, which will take another month. And let's see what else is in this town. Probably not too much. Shop. Oh, okay. These are always nice. And we've got a graphical error. When I was bug testing this game, I remember pointing that out. Actually, I remember testing this whole level, or like this whole town, while I was waiting to have a meeting with my English teacher. So I just had the laptop at school with me, and I was... Oh, it's the guessing game. But yeah, it was with uh, Mr. Spitzberg. He was awesome. Because apparently he has, like, done game testing before. He's a Pokemon fan. I wrote a folklore about Pokemon. Because we had to just write a folklore. Um, next year I did another Pokemon thing. I made a sprite comic about ex um, existentialism. I don't know, I always have awesome projects. <laughs> Okay, let's get through this without much pain. If I could get... God damn it. It would have been nice to get through the whole thing without having to fall in the trap. But yeah, anyway, I'd, uh, I keep kind of jumping around with my topics here. I did some beta testing of this game. Maybe not beta testing, but I did some testing of this game because he was going to do a, like, re-released version of it. And so, I had to test it all. Oh, jeez, where's, where's the way out of this? I thought it was over there. Ugh, stupid trap. I know it's on the right side. Did it. Anyway, bit bug testing. Never finished the whole game. Did it in English teacher's office. He had a funky couch. It was very squishy. Then we talked about my various like papers from that year. Everybody had to have personal meetings with him for some reason. Mine were all good though. I'm trying to remember what else I wrote. I wrote a short story about this woman whose husband was like a 
he, uh, he was like, I don't remember if he was a murderer or if he was just accused of being one, but wasn't. Then she was like trying to sabotage his, um, oh god, which one is it? Yay. Yeah, she, uh, he was going to be sentenced to death with lethal injection. Injection. She tried to sabotage it. Didn't go well. She went insane. Committed suicide. Very fun, kid, kid friendly story. Okay, I think there's only like one button left. Will I guess right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, that was the whole point of that. Almost out of recording time. Let's see what's in here really quick. I only have like 10 seconds left. And I uh, uh, left by accident. So I guess I'll be finishing up this next time and then I'll do some other stuff and then stuff will happen in early pie.